All right, guys, welcome back to some more Last of Us Part 2 Remake No Return. If you guys missed the previous video, uh, I finished a run with Tommy, who by far I think is my favorite character to play in this game mode. Uh, this run, Joel is pretty similar to Tommy. He has a unique gun, which is a, the fully upgraded revolver, which is pretty good at taking out infected. It one shots runners, it two shots stalkers very consistently, two shots human enemies very consistently for the ones that are not armored, anyways. I think even the armored ones actually get taken out at two shots. Um, it's pretty strong actually. So he starts out with a revolver. He starts out with a shiv recipe. He starts out with a, I think one shiv or two shivs, I believe. And he also starts out with a melee weapon that is upgraded. So you can get uh, you know, a few cheeky whacks in there if you so wish. Um, aside from that, he cannot dodge. Just like Tommy, he cannot dodge. I think it's supposed to be like OG, you know, last was part one kind of thing going on here. You know, because Joel, obviously the dodge mechanic didn't exist back then, but I don't know how I feel about not being able to dodge. It definitely makes encounters awkward. Um, you are compensated by the fact that you you um, take lesser damage from melee attacks, similar to Tommy. But Tommy has a sniper rifle, which in my opinion, he has a sniper rifle and he has a handgun. Joel just starts out with a revolver. Now, I have obviously gotten uh, a few weapons from, you know, purchasing it from the locker and finishing some weapon uh, item drop quests in the um, runs. But yeah, otherwise, I think Joel is okay. I wouldn't say he's my favorite character in this game. I, I would say Tommy's number one, followed by Dina, followed by Ellie. I think those would be the top three right now. Uh, this is also the last character on Ellie's side. After this, we'll be starting Abby's side. So there's also that to look forward to. Anyway, encounter number five. Uh, by the way, this is actually my second attempt. I died to the boss the first time. I've found, I've realized that human bosses, the Rattler Captain and the Seraphite Elites are actually the toughest bosses because they don't come alone. Uh, the Rattler Elite has three dogs and a bunch of Rattlers around him, uh, her, and then the uh, Seraphite Elite is actually two bosses. One is a ranged boss, one is a big brute with a melee, and they've also got a few Seraphites around them as well. So it becomes a little trickier to just focus on the boss, you know, alone. Anyway, Hunted. Uh, I know this map. The best place to go here is to go to the tower of here. This is the best place to hold out because enemies can only approach you from one direction, which is by climbing the van. Now, I could do the challenge, but it's just a waste of ammo. Might as well just kill people directly, right? Oh, no, 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 Joe. No, 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 Joe, 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 No, don't, don't. There we go. So she knows I'm here. I'm just gonna pull out my hunting pistol because the enemies can only come from climbing this side. They can't climb ladders for some reason. Uh, something weird with the AI over here. That missed? I suck. What now? But yeah, otherwise it's just straightforward. I would like to grab that. I need to keep that in mind for when time's about to run out so I can actually grab it. Any ammo for me? Thank you. All right, just about 60 seconds, 65 seconds. No, 75 seconds. I could use my pipe bombs, there's no need to. So. Alright, that guy's looking at me. Root! Really? You wanna climb this as well? Okay, I'm not sure how that didn't hit. Bye bye. One more close by. Oh, it's a big boy. Woo! Run, 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 run. That's the first time I've actually been forced to get move away from there. 
keep moving. Those that's actually the reason why I lost against the Seraphine Elite. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh no 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 no. I can't pull the arrow out. I cannot pull the arrow out. Ooh! Ooh, that was close. That was very close. That was not a clean run at all. I'm gonna get a B or a C for this for sure. I think a C actually. Yeah, I got, I got a B really? Okay. I guess because I, I also killed a bunch of enemies. So yeah, this has not been the best run. B, S, B, S, B. But yeah, you can see why um, those brutes are so dangerous against uh, characters that can't dodge. <clears throat> well, we gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. Hell yeah, Joel. I mean, you're dead technically, but hell yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go in. Guess we just craft, get more shivs because that's the only thing I can get. Um, so this is the boss time now. Well, let me just check something. Do I have a melee weapon? I don't. So I'm gonna pick up the pipe. And I have two left. So we'll grab some more bots. Maybe get some upgrades. I'm gonna craft this. That's gonna be very useful at killing the minor seraphites. I don't have a lot of ammo, do I? Stability, reload speed. I think reload speed is gonna be very useful. Um, Again, I don't have much ammo, so I have to be quite careful. I'm actually going into this Seraphite boss encounter weaker than my last run. My last run actually had a lot more going on. But... Um, because last time I also had a pistol I, uh, which I could craft a suppressor for, a silencer, whatever you want to call it. But this time I cannot. Uh, I do have crossbow for that. Oh, I have no ammo as well. Oh my god, this is not good. All right, let me quickly heal up. I do have pipe bombs, which I could use to kill a few enemies. But yeah, I definitely think that the human enemies are the most dangerous. And for that reason, I would say characters like Dina and Ellie are very good because Ellie can obviously craft uh, Molotovs and stuff. Uh, Jesse's also pretty good because you can get... Okay, here we We're go. coming for you! Damn it. So yeah, there's two of them. In here! Oh, they saw me, they saw me. I'm just gonna chuck everything at him. Okay, he's dead. Got him. Holy shit. Run, Joe! Yeah, that's the other elite with the exploding ammunition. Do I need to heal? That's the elite. Gonna bomb her immediately. Oh, got her. <laughs> we traded blows. Okay. Both bosses are dead. I need to heal real quick. Where are you? I miss your head, son of a Shit. Um, how am I looking here? I'm looking all right. You know what? Craft this. They don't know I'm here. Come on, peek. Sasha! Sasha! Is it just one? Yeah, it's just one. Okay. That's got a collision there, unfortunately. You won't escape! There we go. Alright, that was a lot simpler. Then last time, I just chuck a bunch of bombs at them. S rank, I got an S rank, so I got a BS, BS, BS. That's actually incredible. And I got uh, a new game mode, capture mode, which I think is the last new game mode you can get in a run. And then I have... 
Yeah, this is the capture mode. In capture, en the enemies are guarding a safe filled with valuable supplies. It will lock when the timer expires. You can use stealth to approach the safe and open it before all enemies are defeated. Okay. And of course, the rat. So this is the last boss you can face in the game. And then after that, it's randomized bosses. So... I mean, it's much shorter video. I actually thought that the, the boss fight would be a lot tougher, but um, because I knew what was going to happen, I guess it made, made it easier. So yeah. Uh, so there's a total of six type, six bosses you can face in the game. Um, the one missing from this list is the arcade bloater, since that's unlocked by default. Yeah, what are the Joel challenges I finished? So I got the skin, winter skin. Kill six enemies using the same gun without reloading and encounter. This you can do with your uh, the revolver because it starts with 12 rounds. So... That's not too difficult. Kill two enemies with shivs in one encounter. Kill five enemies with a bottle of brick in one run. Complete a bloater boss encounter as well. So that's obviously the Last of Us Part 1 skin. Alright. And then almost have daily runs. Okay, so a shorter video. Uh, I might just splice Abby's gameplay in this as well. I think I'll do that. Because this was... I think uh, I want to go through these runs pretty quickly because at this point, I think for those watching, you guys got the gist of what this game mode is about. Um, so at this point, I just want to kind of show off how the characters play. So I have five characters to go. Abby, Manny, Mel, Yara, and Lev. And I believe Yara is a dual character. So you have you play as Yara, but Lev joins you on the... Um, he's like permanently present, basically. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, I finished all the Jesse skins. Okay. I didn't realize it. I guess I did. All right. So if you guys enjoyed it, uh, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll add in the Abbey run as well. So I'll have Abbey encounter five and encounter six. And uh, yeah, see you guys then. All right, guys. So just uh, gone halfway through Abbey's run. I just want to quickly show you guys how pretty the base for Abbey's side is. It's so much more. Oh, what the hell was that? That was weird. It's so much nicer than the more cramped theater room that uh, Ellie's side has. Uh, so yeah, Abby. Abby is extremely fun. She's melee focused, so she starts out with a pistol, uh, no suppressor. I just got the recipe to craft uh, suppressors. She starts with a pistol and she starts out with a hammer. You can also upgrade your melee weapons directly, but what makes her really good is that anytime you get a melee kill, so that includes a stealth melee kill or you just punch an enemy to death, you will heal. And also you have this tree here, which is unique, where your melee attacks restore a small amount of health. And then you have momentum, which is from the, the base game, and then momentum duration increased as well. So this is the Barola tree she, she starts with. So she's focused on punching the shit out of people. Now, obviously, this is very useful against simple infected like runners and stalkers. You can just go at them and punch them. Plus, you can dodge, so it just makes it very easy to take them out. Uh, enemies that don't have weapons, very easy. Armored enemies without weapons, also not too bad, because as long as you're good at dodging, you'll be fine. But once you start facing clickers, shamblers... Um, and enemies with like assault rifles and stuff like that, then it becomes a bit more dangerous. So, but she is definitely a lot of fun to play and she's also very strong, I would say. Now, right now, the reason I started from Encounter 3 is because I wanted to showcase Holdout Game Mode. So this is a game mode that I unlocked, I think after finishing Tommy's run, uh, but it's essentially where you have an ally that you need to protect from infected. Now, in this case, it's going to be Manny. And um, I did finish this, I actually did this once on my first Joel run before I died in that run, and I managed to get a trophy to where I prevented my ally from dropping below 70% health. This is this This is the same place, by the way, where uh, the first holdout took place, so I'm not sure if this is the only map or if there's more. But um, the holdout usually has, uh, will have 30 enemies you need to kill. They include runners, stalkers, uh, clickers, shamblers, and I think one bloater as well. So it's this actually way. it's actually pretty fun, I would say. It's actually a lot of fun just because it's very cathartic to kill um, infected, and also I get to punch the shit out of them. Now, last time when I played this, this place was actually open. This time it's blocked. But with Joel, this is actually very easy because his revolver one shot most infected. So, in this case here, I'm going to probably have to rely on... Try to miss my shot, but I'll also see how effective... 
Holy shit, my mind blew up. <laughs> Frankly, I think too much damage on that. Get off him. So yeah, I, I heal for that, which is good. Alright, 21 enemies to go. I got too many. Help! Oh wow, he lost a lot of health from that. Holy shit. He's already like 50 ish. My hero. I think I hear a bloater. Is that a bloater or a shambler? It's a bloater, okay. He's already here. This is a lot earlier than I thought he would come. Right. Can you shift this guy quickly? So the blood actually came very early this time. Punch the shit out of you. There we go. I hear a clicker. Melee weapon, thank you. Watch it! I'm missing. I missed. Oh, I hit the shot. Oh wow, this thing is tanky. There you go. I'll create this real quick. You got that, man. You got that. Beat the shit out of it. Yeah, there's a shambler coming here. Runner, get ahead! Oh lord! Thing is, I can't even punch a shambler because. I need to get inside before he gets Oh, it's dead, okay. There you are, alright. Oh, it's another shambler, okay. So yeah, pretty fun, I would say. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, Manny. Very cathartic, very satisfying just to punch the shit out of infected. You get to go explosive, you know? Alright, let me make sure I just grab everything I can. Okay. Alright, just one more encounter before the Rat King. Now, I'm hoping the Rat King is alone. Though I don't expect it to be. I got a B, A, B, S, B, alright. Vintage Naughty Dog skin. Alright, cool. Upgrade three melee weapons in a run. So two more and I get some Bomber Abbey. That looks pretty cool, actually. Again, for those, uh, just in case you guys don't know, you can use all these skins in the base game story as well, so. Alright, um... Do I need... Uh, firearms upgrade branch. I think this is for my hunting pistol. Like, I can craft specific ammo. Requires double barrel shotgun, which I don't have. Move faster while prone. Move faster while holding hostage. I don't think this is useful. This one is very useful, the last one. But I don't think it's useful to spend um, supplements on. I get a shotgun though, so. Do I grab? I think I'll grab the shotgun and then I'll grab some ammo as well. 
Shotgun's always useful. Um, don't have a holster. That's the only negative. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to mention as well. Joel starts with a free uh, sidearm holster. So you can have two sidearms uh, at the same time, which is very useful. Um, can't get damage on the shotgun. Reload speed could be useful. I think I'll just get reload speed then. And hopefully... The next one isn't another hunted, unless it's against infected, which I would not mind at all, since I get to punch the shit out of them. Alright, what do I want to craft? I think we're good. So, craft to incendiary shotguns, increase efficiency, and then trap mine. This, I think, is not very useful, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to save my um, ammo, I guess. Alright, let's go. Logging camp, it's against Seraphites and Assault. Uh, that's the only option I have? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Also, I also did unlock Joel as a friend, a character who can support me randomly in some encounters. So if I'm playing as Ellie or any of those characters, Joel will potentially be on my side, which is pretty nice. Alright, let's grab everything here. By the way, if you're playing Dina on this map, this ladder here is OP because that's the only way they can access you. Put a trap mine there and you're good to go. Very useful, I would say, on the harder difficulties. All right. No. 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 And we'll stick with this. Down. Oh, they're dropping mines? I did not realize that. I keep forgetting to read all the modifiers that are present. Too close. Where are the rest? Hello? They're not behind me, that's for sure. Probably on the far side of the cabin. Oh, there's one here. There's one on the far. What the? Oh, it's not every enemy? Okay, I guess it's a random chance. Oh no, he dropped it, never mind. Alright, so this one's close here, and there's one on the far. I think I want to try to get melee stealth kills on them. Save some ammunition. Where is she? Oh, there she is, okay. Carver out. All right, let's get. This guy's going the opposite way. Yeah, he's out of my listening range, which means should be safe to get this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your friends are dead. All right, enough of you. There you are. Adios. Quiet. Right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Looks like they've been playing Call of Duty, martyrdom users. Stun at three enemies by shooting below the knee. I've never I don't want to do that. I just think it's a waste of ammunition. Right. Five more enemies I presume. Probably a big guy with them this time as well. I think I can get two here. What the ambush? Oh, they see me. Oh, they can't see me? Alright. Shit! How do I? Oh lord. I'm in a bad spot. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Ooh, that was a bad spot. It just shows you how bad I am at this game on harder difficulties because I would have died there immediately. Alright, let's...
let's uh, remove this and save that. Holy shit! Eli! Boom! I like that it actually damages them as well, that's pretty cool, you know? Need to heal up. Oh, there we go. Make sure I grab all the resources these guys drop. Oh, these guys spawn close. Oh, it's a big boy. No, climb, 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 climb. Holy shit. Notice enemies don't seem to be able to use ladders for some reason. I don't know if it's just a, like a weird programming issue, but I've noticed that they don't tend to use um, ladders at all, which just makes this position even more busted. Yeah, look, I can just stay here forever. Like, they can't do shit to me. Until, of course, I don't have resources, then I have to... Okay, her head clearly was exposed. But I'm just gonna wait until she... Come on, I'm right here. Hey, look at that! Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, they're right below me. They're not gonna do shit. <laughs> Boom, bitch! <laughs> That's a big guy below me. So if I jump down, I need to know where the other two are first. Where are the other two? There's one over there behind this. Well, that's another big guy. Is there two big boys here? Where's the last one then? You know, screw it, I'm going down. <laughs> Okay, this is not a big guy, okay. Don't let her escape! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Alright. Last and certainly the least. That's right, buddy. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? I'm gone. Where'd you go? Perfect. Shit! Do I grab the hammer? It's it. No, it's not a full hammer. I thought it was a full hammer for some reason. Alright. Not clean, but we got through it. Full ammunition over there. I need, I need handgun ammo, I think. And I need shotgun ammo, which, because I'm gonna go against the uh, Rat King now. Yeah, not the best rankings here. B, triple, th three Bs, one A, one S. Yeah. Alright, let's go. 110 pass, 55 supplements, and 14 currency. I mean, I guess I could craft shotgun ammo, which could be useful. I think I'll do it now. Grab these two. So now I can do this. Three shots isn't terrible. Crossbow, I don't want crossbow. Grab a medkit, grab mines. We'll grab ammo as well. There we go. I 
think I should have enough to be able to increase the damage. Yes. Yes. That's going to be very powerful against the Rat King. Again, I think the Rat King is actually a very easy boss, in the story at least. Um, because it's, uh, you know, you just stay away from it, belted. But it's a very cool cinematic boss, right? It, it's It's got the uh, presentation carrying it hard. Otherwise, it's just a big bloater that's, a, you know, bit, got extra health, I guess you could say. Um, Alright, I think we're good. We'll craft this as well. Uh, I'm not gonna go prone. I'm not gonna get any upgrades. Might as well grab this. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Alright, so we'll start out with the shotgun. With the mollies, uh, the fl uh, fire ammo. Again, I fully expect there to be some infected accompanying this. I don't think the Rat King is going to be alone. And I also expect it to be fought in the Seattle uh, hospital area, which... Yep, there it is, big boy. Alright, here we go. Cutest path I can take. Put it down, put it down. There we go, Abby. an achievement for killing every boss and no run yeah there you go see again very simple but it's got that presence right which i think is what makes the rat king such a fun encounter a s rank all right there we go so now we get randomized bosses and one more run will give me daily runs and i have lev Bow draw speed upgrade, improved listen mode, archery upgrade. So this is the first character with a bow, actually. Like, as a default weapon. Oh, randomized bosses. Because, again, both bloaters are very easy. The racking is pretty easy. The theater infestation is, again, easy. It's just the Rattler Captain and the Seraphite Elites. Those are the difficult ones. Hmm. Alright, so I think that's going to bring me to the end of this video. So yeah, I'm going to start clubbing them now, I think, uh, just because at this point, the game mode, the gist of the game mode has, you know, I think you guys know the gist of the game mode. So, you know, we have Lev here now. So we can finish three runs to get Yara. Then we have the Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara skin, White Shirt skin, and the Abby's Jacket skin. 
craft 20 arrows of any type. So I, I guess we can craft obviously normal arrows and also explosive arrows. Yeah, explosive arrows right here. Complete an encounter with all bow kills. That shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, once we get Lev, we get Yara, then we have, I believe it's uh, Mel and then Manny left. So that's going to bring me to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, do show your support below and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.